guys, in today's video I'm doing a Sephora haul plus that I got for working at Sephora and yeah, I know you guys love these videos so I want to keep recording them for you guys and I have a plethora of things, more makeup which never really happens that often um, but I have a lot of makeup this time around which is the hair care item because it's only one this is from dry bar which is my favorite hairline that we carry at sephora i'm ser seriously obsessed with dry bar and this is the southern bell volumizing mousse which is amazing for that big texas volume in your roots so yeah amazing i love dry bar if you've never tried them you definitely should I'm going to show you the three skincare items that I got, one being the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. It's a classic, very popular at Sephora. It's one of our best sellers. And then I got two Lancome skincare items, which besides the Lancome Bifacils, I've never tried any other Lancome products, so I'm excited. This is the Comforting Milky Cream Cleanser, and this is for dry skin that's that there i'm normal so i can use pretty much whatever thank you jesus but yeah this is better for a drier skin because it's a milky cleanser and then i have here the rehydrating comforting toner also oh my god the camera is just going everywhere which is also for dry skin so a cleanser and a toner is always good to have i have the dolce and gabbana the primer sheer radiance makeup base with sunscreen broad spectrum spf 30 so really nice, uh, especially in the summer, if you want a primer with a sunscreen in it, because you don't have anything else that has sunscreen in it. Really nice, lightweight. I believe I've like put this on my hand in the store and was like, wow. It feels like a lotion, like a moisturizer, but it absorbs really quickly into the skin and it doesn't leave like a residue or any stickiness. And it doesn't smell like sunscreen, which is always a plus. A Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in medium two. I've always been interested in trying the Bobbi Brown bronzers. This is gonna be a really great contour shade. It's like a cool tone, brown color. Really nice. It's gonna be really nice for contour. I got a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is a classic. This is a little bit warmer but also still great for contouring, but I specifically just like this if you want like a matte bronzer. But you'll see that, you can see the difference with the Bobbi Brown, how much cooler, uh, how much cooler the Bobbi Brown is versus the Too Faced. I can never have too much bronzer. I'm seriously obsessed with bronzer. And then I got three products, uh, like face products from Becca and then two other things. First one being Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors are like the number one product that they're known for and it's because they're amazing. This is Rose Gold, oh my God. I hope the camera's gonna pick it up. It is freaking beautiful. It is so freaking nice. It's just like the prettiest rose gold. That's gonna look amazing on a tan, deep skin tone. Whoa, baby. Another shimmering skin perfecter and in the infamous, very popular, very culted champagne pop. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. It's a little sleeve, you can see it says Becca Jaclyn Hill. My store, if you didn't know, had the Jaclyn Hill meet and greet and holy bananas it was amazing Jacqueline was so nice i got to meet her i posted a picture on my instagram which is always linked down below but she was so nice so down to earth and i'm so glad that i got to take a picture with her and i'm so glad that i got this highlighter oh my god can we just take a minute right now to just it is amazing it's what i have on right now i don't know if it's gonna pick up in camera it's on my cheekbones on the center of my nose right here a little bit up here and on my cupid's bow i'm obsessed i'm seriously ob 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 obsessed i think it would look good on almost every skin tone i'm obsessed i love it there's a reason why everybody loves it and why there's hype around it this is one of those items that you should not just like be like oh i don't want to buy into the hype buy into the hype okay i'm done I'm done with champagne pop i'm gonna move on one more shimmering skin perfector in blush copper this comes in special packaging i believe it's limited edition as a champagne pop but champagne pop comes in the classic packaging this is freaking beautiful again deep skin tones tan sisters 
You guys, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna probably use this as a blush. <gasps> so nice. I didn't even swatch Champagne Pop. I'll do that in a second. This is it. It's like a very, it's like a coppery, warm, beautifulness. Definitely can't use it as a highlighter, but it would be a very nice blush. That's it underneath. So you can see the three shimmering skin perfectors there. Oh, Champagne Pop is everything. It is literally everything and more. Also from Becca, I got the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I've been really interested in trying this because I love correctors. And it's just a very nice light pink shade. I believe it has a little bit of shimmers in it. But then I got a Becca Beach Tint Lip Shimmer Souffle. And this is in the color Fig Topaz. Oh, this really cool like tip applicator. You can see it there. It's like rubbery. I want to swatch it for you guys. Oh, it's a really nice, just nude. Oh, I'm gonna love this. That's it right there. Beautiful. Really excited. So that's everything from Becca. Here from Marc Jacobs. This is the Marc Jacobs Gel. I want to give you the exact name. Gel Crayon, Highliner Gel Crayon, and it is in the color Odyssey. Odd C. O D Y S. Odyssey. O D Y S E A. And it's a nice turquoise shade. There, right there. Would be really nice to just give you a pop of color on the lower lash line. A brow is from Anastasia in dark brown. I actually have this through my brows right now. I've been getting a lot of questions on my brows. So if you guys want me to do a brow video, please let me know down below. I'm really considering doing it because I am pretty much obsessed with the way I've been doing my brows lately. And then last, I got two new foundations. One is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which is replacing the HD foundation. It is even more HD. That's why it's called Ultra HD. And I got it in the color Y325 which is the equivalent for 118, but it looks a lot darker than 118. Um, but yeah, so Ultra HD. And then the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, which I have tried in store. Holy moly, this stuff is amazing. Full coverage, but really lightweight. It's super weird to find something like that. And I got it in the color Light Beige. This is the packaging, really cute. This is glass, this is plastic. That is everything. Oh my god, I almost forgot to show you my nail polishes. If you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with nail polish, especially since I've been like really into my nails lately. By the way, on my nails right now, I have Dolce, don't look at them because I need to get done, but Dolce & Gabbana's Dahlia. Yes, Dolce & Gabbana's Dahlia and then a new glitter from Deborah Lippman. I can't recall the name right now. I just popped it on when I was at work. But I got two new Dolce & Gabbana nail polishes. Dolce & Gabbana is probably one of my best formulas. One of my favorite formulas. Best formulas? One of the best formulas. And one of my favorite formulas for nail polish. It's just super creamy and pigmented. Doesn't chip. And it's amazing. I love it. And I got it in these two really cool colors. I got it in the color... The gray is Anais, and the pink is Passione. Passione. So those are really pretty. I'm debating which one I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna use one of these next. I just don't know which one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see reviews on anything, please let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week or a great weekend whenever you're seeing this. And until my next video, I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.